Accessory, Rate My Future, The Outside, Rate My Future, Accessory, Rate My Future, Butter Accessory. Orbison and the big goodbye, the big goodbye takes up the land and the big goodbye is gone from gold from Orbison. And Warwick, Hollyfield is coming right away from Sir Warwick, Desert Lord is rushing home at the end of Hollyfield, Hollyfield is one for Desert Lord. Sir Welcome back to my channel. This is my preview for Brisbane Racing this weekend. The Group 1 Tattersells Tiara with a lot of Tattersells Racing on this card. I'm going to be attending this meeting um, because of a special event that I am going to. Let's get into the preview and let's find some winners. Race one at Eagle Farm is a Class 3 handicap over the 1600 metres and I'm with White Water. Seven starts for two wins in two seconds. Hasn't, well, one first up this campaign that flopped at its next two starts uh, during the campaign. But I think that now fourth up can now be ready to show its best. And at the f current odds of uh, $6, I'm definitely happy to play there. Seduction Queen can win, yes, 100%. Um, it looks like a very good horse. And it is only first up, but that was my query first up. Um, but it hand, it's going to handle the distance, and it does like good ground. Lethal warning: Tony Golan trains this horse for Tony Golan trains the horse. Willie Pike on with fifty four kilos. I re, I think this is the real danger in the race to Whitewater, and sea paling for four. But I'm with Whitewater in the race number one at Eagle Farm. Race 2 at Eagle Farm is a benchmark 78 handicap over the 1,200 metres, and I'm with Uncommon James here. I think this horse will win and win by a space. It's a three starts for two wins in a second. The only defeat coming on debut, winning its next two starts. First up for this. Uh, has had two trials to get ready for its first up run. One uh, on the synthetic where it ran fourth, and one at Durban where it won. <laughs> on soft ground and i think this horse is going to be proving too good for these ben thompson the ride o'day trained 215 take it i reckon it's going to start odds on on the day tiara jasmine for second has been backed in from ten dollars into seven dollars and third up willie pike on with 57 kilos third up record reads pretty well and i really think that this horse is going to go really well because third up it's had two starts for a win and a third mill rosa for uh for third very good horse, 100% going to run into your placing. Hasn't missed uh, a place in its career. Uh, not that I can see anyway. And at $10 is over the odds. And never paid just a winner at $9. But I'm with Uncommon James. Hopefully the form can stand up. Eagle Farm Race 2, 45 the win. Race number three at Eagle Farm is the listed Tattersall's Gold Cup. And I'm with our intrigue over the 2150 metres. Because this horse was favourite last weekend for the Ipswich Cup and only narrowly went down last weekend. Willie Pike aboard for Chris Waller, 56.5 kilos. Look, it's shorted a dollar seventy, but I can't see anything beating it. You know, there's no class runners here. You know, he's rated 96. The next horse is 77. This horse has clear class over these, and I think will bolt in here. I'm expecting it to win by at least five lengths. Uh, Little Mix for second uh, is probably the one that I think is the main danger. Th six starts for three wins, two seconds and a third. Hasn't missed a place, has missed a placing so far. And gets two and a half kilos off the favourite. Elusive Jewel for third. It's a good chance for Bowman. And Taffiat for fourth at $31 is over the odds. But I'm with our intrigue in the Tats Gold Cup. Race number four at Eagle Farm is the Tattersall's Gold Cup over another extended trip of the 2400 metres at Group 3 level. And I'm with one at a bit of odds here in Luna Snit. Now, I don't think this horse's form is that bad. I mean, last start uh, ran fourth at Eagle Farm against Iris Seacle, Through Irish Eyes and Sweet Thomas. And they're genuine, you know, listed in group company horses. And that was a Group 3, running fourth in a Group 3 last start. I think off that form has shown potential 
over this staying trip. Yeah, it's one. It's one over the twenty four hundred at Eagle Farm before, and placed over the twenty two hundred. And at nineteen dollars, I'm happy to have something on because this horse is way over the odds at, at um ninety dollars. Considering it's got Sam Collard on fifty three kilos, and it looks like a win for mine. Uh, gate six, beautiful barrier. She wins. And what in a race that's kind of congealed at the top of the market, I think a Ruffy is going to take it out. And this is the Ruffy I'm starting with in Lunaston. Bon bon Bonnie Ezra for second. Very good horse. Very consistent. Tommy Berry for Chris Waller. Alec Ahan scratched. London Baker for Willie Pike is going to run really, really well here. And I think can finish top three. But I'm with Lunaston in the group three. Tats Cup. Race five is the Battle of the Bush final over the 1,200 metres. And I'm with Star of O'Reilly. This horse is 12 from 37. It's got to carry the big weight, but I think it can, and I think it can still win. 15 starts over the 1,200 metres for five wins, four seconds, and a third. Hasn't been to the... Well, I said one start at, at um, Eagle Farm before unplaced. Uh, and on good ground, tw seven, 27, 26 starts on good ground for seven wins, four seconds, and two thirds. Look, I think it's going to win, and I'm confident about that. VJ Day for second is the other winner in the race that has got very good form. Winning its past three, 16 starts over the 1,200 minutes for six wins, four seconds, two thirds. 32 starts good ground for 11 wins, four seconds, and five thirds. It's going to run a very good race. Expellable for third, seventeen dollars is way over the odds, and Umundi Bay always runs well at Eagle Farm. But I'm with Star of Our Rally in the Battle of the Bush final quality, forty dollars the win. Race six at Eagle Farm is over the twelve hundred meters for the three year old fillies, and I'm with Rhapsody Rose here. This horse again just ratings above the rest and rated eighty two. The next horse is rated seventy. As the 12, 12 rating points over its next rival, and I think it could not be at its best and still be winning this. Uh, third up, three starts for a win and a third. Uh, distance, 12, sorry, six starts for two wins and a third. And on good ground, 11 starts for three wins and two thirds. I think this is the right race for her. I think she's going to win it, and I'm very, very confident about this. Luke Tarrant for months, for Chris Munts. Uh, I think that they can secure this race and she can be a winner. Burning Bell for second. Now, this is the form runner in the race. Four starts for three wins in a second. Edmonds trained. Ryan Maloney to ride. Uh, I agree with the market. Uh, no, I don't agree with the market. Sorry. I think that Rapsy Rose should be favourite, not Burning Bell, but she's favourite because of the form. Fetch for third. Very good horse. And Miss Tambo over the odds of $51. But I'm with Rhapsody Rose. Race 6, Eagle Farm. $12 the win. Race 7 at Eagle Farm is a listed Tattersell Stakes for the two-year-olds, and I'm with Johnny Rocker. Two from two. Um, Sam Collett to ride. was $20 when it won last start. You're not going to get even near that price this time when it runs. It's $5 here, and I think it's going to win two from two. Very strong win last start. And look, it's had one start on good ground for a win. And... Look, this horse is just going to go really well here. Sam Collins had two rides for two wins on the horse. Same amount as it's had career starts, and I think it's going to be a very strong winning chance. Stroll for second. Uh, Willie Pike aboard, four starts for two wins and a third. You can't put it against this horse. I mean, it was a very strong win last start and really wanted to stick his head out late and win under Willie Pike in the Bill Carter. And that's good form the photo for this. Metallicity for third. Just hasn't shown much. And yeah, just not showing enough for mine. And Chase and Artie, maybe a chance at 550. But, uh, well, it gets a good jockey to find out. Nashville will. But I want Johnny Rocker in the listed. Tattersell stakes for the two-year-olds. $25 the win. The Group 1 Tattersell's TR runner by runner preview will be coming soon. It'll be out later today, but I wanted to get the main, the main Eagle Farm preview done first, and then I'm going to bring out the runner by runner later this afternoon. Thank you. The last race of Eagle Farm race known is the Group 3 WJ Healy Stakes, and I am with 
Uh, shooting for gold here. I think fourth up, Willie Pike and the Saddle can win. Five starts over the 1,200 metres for three wins. Two starts over the track and distance at Eagle Farm for a win. 13 starts on good ground for six wins of three seconds and a third. So it's a lock to run top three. And I think this horse is going to be too good for them and win. And at $10 in the last, don't look too bad odds for me. Baller for second. Huey Bowman on was a good winner last start. Um, and I think can, oh, is the biggest danger to the favourite. Not the sorry, biggest danger to shooting for gold in Baller. Uh, King of Sparta is too short for mine. I don't think it should be too, too, uh, 290. Way too short. And Rangers for fourth. $10 is over the odds, considering he's a very good, consistent horse. But I was shooting for gold in the last 10 each way. Willie Pike to ride the last winner. Thank you for watching my preview for Group 1 Tattersell's Tiara Stakes Day, the last Group 1 of the season for 2021-2022. And I'll see you next weekend, and hopefully we get some winners.